Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve a question from GATE 2016. The question is about true or false. So we have given a vector space V with dimension n and a non-zero linear transformation T from V to V and the dimension of T of V is less than n. This means that the dimension of range of t is less than n because we know that range of t is the subspace t of v. So, dimension of range of t is nothing but rank of t. So, this implies rank of t is less than n. And also given that t square is equal to lambda t. For some lambda belongs to real numbers and lambda is non-zero. Then, which of the following statements are true? So statement 1a is determinant of t is equal to mod of lambda raised to n. Statement b is there exists a non-trivial subspace v1 of v such that t of x is equal to 0 for all x belongs to v1. c is t is invertible and option d is lambda is the only eigenvalue of t. Now let us look at the solution. So we have given that dimension of range dimension of t of v is less than n. This is nothing but this means rank of t is less than n. Therefore, rank of t is not equal to n. So, this implies t is not invertible because rank is not equal to n. So, t is not invertible. Hence, option c is incorrect. Now, t is not invertible. This implies determinant t is equal to 0. So, 0 is one of the eigenvalue of t. So, this implies 0 is the eigenvalue of t. Now, see that lambda is not 0 so this implies mod of lambda raised to n is not 0 so this implies determinant t cannot be equal to mod of lambda raised to n because lambda raised to n is not 0 so option a is also false now from this, 0 is the eigenvalue of t. So, option D is also false. Because 0 is also eigenvalue of t. So, lambda cannot be just a eigenvalue of t. So, this option is also false. Now, let us prove option B. So, option B says that there exists a non-trivial subspace V1 of V such that T of X is equal to 0. So, for all X belongs to V1. So, basically we have to find a subspace V1 which satisfies this condition. Now, we know that 0, so part B, we know that 0 is the eigenvalue of T. So, there exists A non zero vector v such that tv is equal to zero into v. This implies tv is equal to zero. This is t of v is equal to zero. Now take v one, the subspace v one is equal to subspace spanned by this vector v. 
which is nothing but alpha into V where alpha belongs to R. Now for any x belongs to V1 x will look like x is equal to alpha V where alpha belongs to R. Now look at T of x. So T of x is equal to T of alpha of V which is equal to alpha into T of V which is equal to alpha. We know that T of V is equal to 0. So alpha into 0 so which is equal to 0. So T of x is equal to 0 and this holds for all x. So we have T of x is equal to 0 for all x belongs to V1. So this subspace V1 satisfies this condition. So and also note that it is non-trivial subspace because we know that V is non-zero. So the subspace V1 is non-trivial. So option D is correct.